Well, I'm very excited to be giving this talk because it's the first uh, video talk I've ever given on photography. There are dozens and dozens and dozens of uh, audio tapes, but this is the first uh, video. And uh, I'm passionate about many things, but I'm very passionate about photography. And I hope I can uh, actuate some of your passion, because I think photography can be a very wonderful healing force. I think it would be a very wonderful action meditation. At the end of my daily meditation, just before I open my eyes, I have a little affirmation. Beauty, blessedness, belovedness. As I've said before, beauty, true beauty, not as we, everything's beautiful now, ice cream's beautiful, everything's beautiful, but the beauty, the word comes from the Latin beatus, which means blessed. So beauty is blessedness. And we are blessed by all, especially our mothers. We are loved by her, therefore belovedness. So it's beauty, blessedness, belovedness. The three big Bs. And as I was uh, photographing today, I had uh, some lines of Robert Bridges uh, come to me. One was, my eyes for beauty pine. My eyes for blessedness pine. My eyes for belovedness pine. I'm, look, I'm looking out there trying to find love, trying to look at something and feel beloved. Right? My eye, that's what it means. My eyes for beauty pine. And the other one is, I love all beauteous things. Two wonderful poems by Robert Bridges. And beauteous means that I feel loved by them. I love all beauteous things because I am loved by all beauteous things. So the aim of all art, and in this instance photography, is how to find the beauty, how to find the blessedness, how to find the belovedness. Now, if we were enlightened enough, we'd see it everywhere. Whatever we look, we're looking at, we should see it everywhere. But we don't. We, we need to have it concentrated and presented to us in a way that we can then say, aha, I see, that is beautiful. But we should see everything as beautiful. Therefore, we should feel beloved by everything. And the art of all art, including photography, is to make the beauty, the belovedness, so obvious through the particular choice of subject and, and, and delivery, as it were, that, ah, we find it there. That is obviously beautiful, with a capital B. There, and then to extrapolate and find it elsewhere, everywhere. But so the aim of photography is to so present the beauty, so present the blessedness, so present the belovedness, that you find it there and then extrapolate, generalize, and find it everywhere. I used to only take pictures of nature, or what I thought was nature. You know, often these streams and so forth had been man-made, but I could delude myself that they weren't. And I would stand in the middle of freezing rivers up in New Hampshire, and goodness knows what, and been standing on on, on ice and goodness knows what, and, and photographing only nature. Because I'm seeing people all day, the last, in my job, the last one, I don't want to photograph people, I just want to photograph nature. I remember one time being on the edge of this little waterfall, half falling in like Dean Brown, and, and it's the most extraordinary thing. I can still see this picture, it must be, oh, over 25 years ago. And and the water 
is flowing over and and there's this black object which looked like a black rock and the water's just flowing over this black rock in this very, very beautiful pattern. And I took a lot of pictures of it. When I came back and I blew it up, someone's thrown the rubber boot into the stream. It's a bloody rubber boot. So I, th I threw out the pictures. Because I wanted nothing man-made in the picture. It was ridiculous. It was a, I can still see it so clearly in my head. And so now I, I've enlarged. Now I, I go just not to nat 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 take nature. I take uh, portraits and I also take uh, pictures of man-made objects. We've just uh, had a ball here uh, going through, was it, three or four or five train museums. But I never take whole objects because, because you know, it, it's too much. You see, and I think the beauty of photography is being able to concentrate on the little things. And I don't particularly want to take pictures of what people can so easily see for themselves. Here's, here's a, a, a long shot of a steam engine. Oh. But I say, but, but look at the way these springs on the wheel just move like that. And that little bit of, of, of white, uh, you know, uh, whatever it is, you know, pipe is coming down here. And that little thing there, you'd never see it. If, if someone didn't say, have a look at that, look at that, look at this, look at that, and then just framing it just right. It's the little things that matter, the little things, not huge landscapes. The little, I was never so bored photographically than when we went to, and not, not the Grand Canyon, but near the Grand Canyon, called Zion National Park and Bryce Canyon, and they have these huge uh, mountains and, and, you know, rock formations. What are you going to do with them? I mean, I know they're not going to work. I know. I, and, I, and I had a wonderful time because just outside Zion National Park there was a man who was uh, selling uh, crystals and bits of rock and so forth. And I spent, what, two days just photographing little bits of rock here, little bit of rock there and so forth and so forth. That's what we can deal with. And it's what people don't look at. So, in essence, what I'm trying to say, we all, all of my work comes down to feeling that our mothers are the mother of love. And that's our task in life. That's our karma. And the way we're going to find that is by meditation of one sort or another or another. And we in the West, as Vivekananda, the greatest of all the Eastern uh, religious people that came over, said, the Western mind is not made for what you might call passive meditation, which isn't really passive, we might call it that. We are made for action meditation. And I believe action meditation, then we, we quieten the brain with this one activity and then go into, quote, passive meditation. Action meditation, the arts, to then lead to passive meditation. All the time, the idea being to find the mother of love. And the easiest way I know to do this is through, is through the camera.